come to work so my peoples come first. I got worldwide family all over the earth, and I worry about them all for whatever is worth. I'm Susie Bat. I'm with Blockchain for Social Impact Coalition, formerly of Consensus Academy. And this is a 15 minute chat about offsetting carbon emissions and crypto exchanges. This has been a really, it's been such a volatile um, time, both on the planet and, and crypto this year. And uh, in this chat with Sean, my current work in blockchain merges with my early work in climate change, um, climate change technical assistance for USAID and uh, World Bank. Uh, but it's really my pleasure to sit and speak with Sean Murphy, founder of Impact Scope, a Swiss startup developing a carbon footprint offsetting API for crypto exchanges. And the goal is to offer carbon neutral transactions to customers. Um, on crypto exchanges worldwide. So welcome, Sean. Thanks very much, Susie. Thank you. Pleasure Great. To be here. Thank you. Um, so yeah, we met in Davos in January. So much has happened. Um, it, it's um, and, and you managed to get so much done too, which is remarkable in, in during the pandemic. Um, my first question is, what is the environmental impact of proof of work cryptocurrencies? Uh, the environmental impact of proof, proof of work is uh, is phenomenally large. Uh, the 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 carbon emissions linked to proof of work consensus protocols are between 35 and 40 million tons of carbon emissions. Uh, to put that in in context, it's the same as the uh, carbon emissions uh, of a, an average European country. The electrical consumption, electricity consumption of uh, of Bitcoin required for Bitcoin is um, like approximately one half of global electricity is uh, specifically going to maintaining the proof of work uh, consensus protocol. And this is an enormous problem. Um, it's one of the great, uh, you know, unintended consequences of these uh, decentralized, uh, trustless, distributed. Um, uh, networks that we all love to use. And um, so at Impact Scope, we're developing, uh, as you said, uh, plugins, uh, tools, APIs, uh, specifically to capture the Bitcoin transactions of individuals as they're sending Bitcoin to uh, cryptocurrency exchanges and from cryptocurrency exchanges. Thank you. I want to make sure you're able to share your screen, Sean. Right now, I think sure. we're viewing Ravi's screen. Oh, okay. Um, let me, um, one second. Mm, uh, can, can you hear me, Susie? Yeah, I can hear you. Okay. My, uh, my, I think, yeah, you can hear me. Okay. But I think my, my, my zoom app is in the process of, uh, crashing so i don't really know if the uh, okay let's not touch uh, it <laughs> okay yeah um i wish i could show you this uh, this screen but uh, unfortunately uh, my name is mercy so mercy's law has actually been activated <laughs> uh, um, whatever well, can go wrong will go wrong um, well you know so what this I... is it's a it's a fireside chat without the fire uh so we don't even need your slides but um yeah. you know let's 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 roll and let's roll with it um who measures uh, who measures no, no, the car who, who measures the carbon footprint of proof of work uh, cryptocurrencies and and how can we be absolute sure the calculations are are, are accurate? Sure, there are there are several peer reviewed academic papers uh, um, by uh, professors at Cambridge at uh, MIT. Um, there's uh, which have measured very, very uh, uh, exactly the, the based on the geolocation of the mining rewards from, from blockchain. There are also two publicly accessible portals which have very detailed information. One is run by the Cambridge Center for Alternative Finance. Uh, uh, if my uh, Zoom app weren't freezing right now, you'd be looking at uh, slides of the global mining uh, network showing. Uh, the huge role played by uh, mining miners in two specific Chinese provinces, which are uh, ex pretty much exclusively powered by fossil fuels, so coal power plants. 
So we know that approximately 60 to 70 percent of global hash rate emanates from China, and we know that uh, half of that is coal powered. We also know that in recent years, the role of Kazakhstan has also increased pretty much tenfold uh, in terms of its uh, participation in, uh, in, block, in uh, Bitcoin mining. So about a year ago, Kazakhstan uh, miners were about 1% of global hash rate. Now they're close to 8%. And by the end of the year, they'll be over 10%. And uh, all of those mining farms are, are run from uh, coal-fired, coal coal-fueled uh, power plants. So how is Impact Scope um, and this API addressing that gargantuan problem um, and, and sort of what's the business model? Okay, so basically we're basically trying to replicate what you would find when you book an airline ticket. Uh, most passenger airlines in the world offer some form of voluntary carbon offsetting uh, to their clients. So when you're buying an air ticket, you get to the last page, there's an option to add a few dollars to offset the carbon emissions of your flight. Um, uh, and that was kind of the light bulb moment for me because the, I suppose the inspiration for Impact Scope comes from my own personal values. I'm a, uh, I, I'm a vegetarian, I drive an electric vehicle. Uh, climate change mitigation is very important to me from a personal responsibility uh, perspective. I've been offsetting my own carbon footprint and that of my family for many years, or my family rather for many years. Um, so I think that was a light bulb moment for me when I was purchasing an unavoidable uh, air ticket and I got the usual last page, get your credit card out, one more step, click here if you want to add three or four dollars to offset the emissions of this flight. And then it dawned on me that, you know, of the top 100 airlines, I did some research, 78% offered some a form of voluntary carbon offsetting with crypto exchanges, which is zero. So the crypto industry was uh, uh, miles behind, years behind. Uh, in terms of offering sustainability solutions to its clients, even though within a few years, the carbon footprint of, uh, of the um, global uh, proof of work mining industries will be the same as that of global aviation. Uh, currently, the carbon footprint of uh, one Bitcoin transaction, one on-chain Bitcoin transaction, if I send you now uh, some Bitcoin or some Satoshis, doesn't matter whether it's 10 bucks worth or a thousand bucks worth, the carbon footprint of that transaction is approximately 300 kilograms of CO2, which is roughly the same as a return flight from London to Frankfurt. So that's how serious the situation is. So back to your question, our business model is that we develop, we develop plugins that uh, crypto exchanges can integrate with their interfaces and their backends. Then from that moment onwards, their clients will have the opportunity to offset to their, on a voluntary basis their crypto activity. I'm, I'm really bummed that I can't show you some, uh, some screenshots of our platform right now, but I don't want to cut myself off. Um, so, so basically, think of us like uh, the same uh, type of model that is offered by most uh, airlines. So we're basically implementing that same model for crypto exchanges. We source the offsets from, uh, from development partners uh, who are developing offsetting projects, which are all uh, certified and validated to the highest possible standards. So by, by gold standard in Geneva or by Vera in Washington or Plan Vivo in, in Edinburgh. Our, our business model to the exchanges, we try to make it a double bottom line for them. So uh, we offer them a facilitation fee on each offset, so through their platform. So we treat the exchanges as our sales channel platforms and their clients are our end users. So we want to come up with a market-based solution to this problem because there seems to be no other solution. I mean, Bitcoin is not going to change uh, anytime soon from proof of work uh, to proof of stake. So uh, there has to be some kind of voluntary offsetting solution to try to address the, the carbon footprint. And we feel that uh, targeting exchanges, which is the exact place where we can capture the incoming and outgoing Bitcoin transactions, uh, is the best way to go about this. And uh, we offer, like I said, the exchanges a facilitation fee for all the offsets sold through their sites. Uh, when can I expect to use this uh, in my um, in my wallet in my crypto exchange activity? 
So currently we have letters of intent from five exchanges. Uh, we're launching the platform by the, before the end of the year uh, or uh, at the latest in January. Um, we, we would hope to be connected to about 30 exchanges within the first 18 months. So depending on what exchange you use, hopefully sometime in 2021, you'll be able to, uh, to enjoy the benefit of uh, real-time uh, crypto offsetting. Great. I, I have um, a question in the chat here from Ashley at WEF. Um, Sean, where do you get the data research on the carbon footprint of um, BTC transactions? Would love to know more. It's fascinating. Thank you. Sure. Um, the best place to go is uh, uh, um, there are two sites. One is run by Alex de Vries from the Netherlands. Uh, he's the author of a seminal paper on the calculation of, uh, of uh, the Bitcoin carbon footprint. Um, Digiconomist.net is his site. And you can also Google Cambridge University uh, um, uh, Bitcoin Electricity uh, Consumption Index. And you can see real-time data there, um, which is derived from the geolocation and geotagging from mining pools. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's where you can go to find out more information. And if, um, if exchanges and... Um projects would like to reach you, what's the best way? Sure, you can contact me directly by email at sean at impactscope.com or feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn, just write in impactscope, one word, and you'll find me there or other team members. Uh, um, we'd love to hear from anybody, any feedback at all. We would expect, uh, especially like to hear from uh, exchanges or people who who know people at exchanges who would like to implement uh, our solution. So, yeah, I'd love to get any kind of feedback at all. Mm -hmm.